Okay, a little bit of fun for today. I thought we could unbox my new Diamond Art Club pieces together. This is Lily's fault. <laughs> Just need to uh, give you a little shout out there, Lily. This is uh, more certainly your fault. So I will explain. Um, it is, of course, this year in 2024, a leap year. And for the 29th of February, Diamond Art Club celebrated the leap year by giving 29% off for the 29th of February only um, on selected items. And mm, I don't know, about five minutes before <laughs> it was going to end, Lily said, oh, have you seen that Diamond Art Club are having a 29% offer for today? So <laughs> I hadn't. <laughs> Um, but I was intrigued and I immediately failed my low buy. So I have indeed purchased three more kits to go into my stash. <laughs> Whoops. And I thought, you know, I will share them with you guys and I will show you what I got. So I'm just going to um, pause, pick them up and we'll get going. Okay, so kit number one, as you guys may or may not know, if you watched my re recent whip and chat video, I am also trying to be a little bit careful with my stash, even when I fall off the wagon like this, and either getting the things I already know, super know that I love, or getting something brand new to my stash. So along those lines, I got myself a super pale wintry snowfield animal wonderland for christmas because i do not have anything like this um so i purchased a forest friends by donna gelsinger i'm gonna show you uh, this is a round you know i love my rounds it's 22 by 29 or 55.8 by 73.7 we've got 57 colors to this thing wow um didn't realize that and from the look of things we have four a b's as well which i bet's going to be in all this beautiful snow super interested to see if this is the kind of thing i might like kind of cutesy christmas eh? we will see but it's something new to try so for the toolkit in it as i know you guys like to see um obviously all three toolkits you get your baggies you get your pen um it's a green one for this one you get your squishy and your tray with a cap you get a seven and a four skinny placer one little heart piece of wax in a tub and uh then the interesting bits <laughs> i got this green rose, which is a different green to the other rose that I have. So I added a new one to my collection. And then this really pretty flower washi tape. Their washi tape is always quite generous. It's a decent size amount rather than a skinny roll. So I got that. And then this is our canvas piece. Plenty, plenty big looking there we have him how cute is that wow so it's not my usual thing i'm either gonna love it or i'm not but i figured i don't have anything else like it so it's only the one if i don't and uh it was just super cute and i added it in as my third a b wise we've got obviously a lot of green uh, a lot of gray um, some different tones of white and off-white, a little bit of pink, some browns, quite a bit of oranges. Uh, we look to have oh, quite a pinky, orangey AB there. So I'm assuming we're going to see some AB in maybe the bird and his hat or scarf. Um, trying to see. I really would have thought we would have been seeing a white AB, but... I'm not doing no AB sparkle. There's a very pale peachy AB in there that you can't really see. And then I'm seeing a blue AB. So maybe they've put the AB into the shadows and such. Unusual choice. We will see. Plenty. I've got a little tiny bit of purple there as well a little bit of black I suppose you're mainly a white this time 
thought, yeah. Beautiful colour palette, very wintry. I probably am going to do the sensible thing that's only right and save this one for Christmas. Um, so bear with me, I'm going to pack this one up and we will go to canvas number two. Just because I just know you're going to want to. Um, this number one that kind of is all the way in the fur of the foxes and around the edge of them and in the deer a little. That is that really pale AB colour. You're seeing it all across the back of the deer. Uh, and then the two is the red, which is all in his scar in his hat, the red ribbon, and the birds all full of ABs. And then three and four. Three is this blue check, this yellow check across the scarf. This is all AB, this three, this yellow. And then the four looks to be a blue. Come on. Oh. Yeah, there he is. So it's all in the pattern of the scarf. So all the ABs are in the animals and the snowman's clothes. And nothing in the snow. So they're clearly trying to highlight those as the feature pieces. I don't think there's anywhere any in this little bear. He's uh he's all Plain, as is the rabbit but all your little foxes this little guy down here this bunny and this deer all have uh, like an ab peachy white interesting let's roll him up and pop him in the box nice and safe i'm actually quite excited for that christmas piece and uh if you guys watch my coloring channel you know i don't really color christmas so maybe maybe i'll diamond paint christmas who knows? Um, we're going to pop that piece in the box and we will move on to number two. Um, number two is dun 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 here. Bear with me. Oh, jammed right in there. Uh, I'll pause you so you don't have to listen to me crinkle the bag open. I just fell in love with this one and if you've watched any of my other um completed pages uh completed diamond pieces you will know why i just love diamond art club's rendering of um women and women portraits and she was just beautiful so she is a this piece just look at that so she is Songs Under the Cherry Tree by Chris Ortega, who I just reviewed uh, her Moonlight. So her, him, I'm not sure. Moonlight, which I absolutely adore doing. So I have high hopes for this one. This is a square. I've got all ambitious, but I really, this is how much I wanted it. Because I do avoid squares when I can, unless it's a piece I really want. Because I know the square shape isn't my favourite, so I've got to really, really, really want to do it. Um, it's 55.8 by 78.7, so as you can see, it's a decent sized piece, but it's not massive. We have 60 beautiful colours in this thing. Um, we've got two Z colours, which I believe, is that their fairy dust? Um think that's fairy dust and then we have oh wow four ab colors as well so really really pretty there very yellow purple gold kind of tone to it beautiful so the kit of course uh ne i never forget you <laughs> i know some people really like to see this i am one of them um, I like to see which um, covers and washi people get. So this is a brown toned, a ready brown pen. Very cute with a squishy to match, your usual heart, um, a tray with peace. And obviously my baggies are off to one side. Um, I'm quite surprised. It is a square, but I'm not seeing... Um, 
any tweezers you usually always get tweezers in a square that might be an accident i've got plenty anyway it's not an issue um oh i like this i've got a purple one of these so i now have an orange glad i got another color and this beautiful orange uh toned flower washi so that is that some interesting colors coming out <laughs> Um, and then we have our beautiful, I feel like this is very uh, autumn-y, subdued, mulberry kind of tone, which is something I really like. So I hope I'm going to enjoy this. Bit of green, got this beautiful AB kind of brown, <laughs> like a tan, if that's the right, like a tan colour, I'd say. Um, and then an AB red ready pink there uh, we've got some really nice uh, burgundy deep brown reddish brown yellow um, mauvey purples some peachy pink some nice dark purple loads of that going on I always love when there's not a lot of black um, and again I'm not seeing any big chunks with black in here i'm assuming there's going to be a bit of black in her hair so there must be some black in there somewhere uh, that is a, a yellow ab there really pale creamy yellow ab i'm not seeing on first glance the fairy dust but you do, they don't tend to stand out quite as much so they are harder to spot in the packs like this. But they'll be in there, I'm sure. And they're always really pretty. I think that yellow there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Off camera, for God's sake. Um, this yellow here definitely looks to have a little bit of sparkle. I think that is one of the fairy dusts. You can just see that little bit of glimmer. And it might also be... There's a pale um, aqua green next to it that might also be showing me a bit of... Oh, no, no, it's this olive green here. Can you see that? Wow, didn't even notice. <laughs> and it's right there in front of me that that has a fairy dust shimmer to it. That is beautiful. Where's that going to be? Her dress, I assume. I assume this is going to be her dress. Maybe the flower. Maybe a bit of the sunset. It's so beautiful. Because it is a square, it's going to be super detailed. Uh, take me an age, <laughs> but probably be really, really worth it when done. Right, I'm going to lift, lift this monster up and we'll see. Because I know some of you really like to know where some of the special drills are. So I do try and remember that. Uh, okay, one, two, right, yeah. So we've got loads of ones in here, which is one of the ABs. This three in here is all AB. Uh, the green number four is AB. Where are you going to be? We have a number four hanging around somewhere. It definitely looked to be a green up. <laughs> it, it's here these three here um is a, a green ab is that is that the only place that is super cool <laughs> they've got an ab color for those three drills that is honestly as far as i can see the only place that is showing up <laughs> that is crazy that's awesome um all this red here has ab's in it anyway you see this number two um there's some in her lips there's some in the red of her jewelry down here uh there's more twos in um this swirl around here not sure what i'm looking at there like a fabric behind her of her headdress maybe i'm not sure um and then oh perfect right so the w's which is this kind of olivey tone down here they are fairy dust a fairy dust green coming into the leaves on her dress 
and then this oh carol where are you <laughs> right here we go and then this diagonal up arrow that's here and here and here is all the yellow fairy dust all up here so it is it's her dress sorry guys it's so hard <laughs> to uh point all these out with the size of the canvases beautiful so you've got a little bit of the green fairy dust w's showing here on her eye shadow in the greens and then we've got the yellow fairy dust a little bit in the flower and a little bit in the side of her headdress wow guys just wow i'm excited for her she's a square so obviously i will wait until the appropriate moment to start an intense project like that but <laughs> she's so beautiful i can't decide whether she's an autumn piece or a summer piece for me. She might actually feel like a summer piece to me because of the, the yellows. Beautiful. Right. Again, I'm gonna, gonna give her a roll, put this beautiful canvas in its box to add to my stash. Wow. Stunning. I'm sure I've seen, I think the sticker might actually be in the box there with me. Um, you do as always get um, your uh, sticker pieces that go onto I use them for my boxes because you get the bigger sticker piece that you can use in your log book so bigger I might as well and then I can tell who is who. Although, of course, you also get your beautiful picture on the front. And it always shows you if it's a square or a round. So that is both of those. And then our final piece. I Yeah, I've saved the big one for last. I totally lied. I've just found, I've just found the tweezers. Everything's all right with the world, guys. <laughs> Tweezers were there the whole time. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, we have, I think I've just dropped my cover minder into the bottom of my box. We'll see. Uh, oh, I did pre-open some of the bits before we started just to make life, wow, a little bit, a little bit easier and more. Um organized ish you never know i try i do try okay so we have my third and final project piece this thing is massive when the box arrived i just <laughs> slightly shocked myself with the size so again i'm going to unwrap this okay you guys so for this third and final piece let's just put some of the stuff off to one side and pick this guy up um I really, really love um, the artwork I have around my home is all nature and landscapes, uh, especially waterways, water views, docks, things like that. Um, so I figured, you know, it's not really something I have in my stash, maybe because they're so big. So I avoided it until now. And because they also tend to come in square because of the detail needed. So, yeah. Oh my God, yes, I did. Um, I hope you can see that anywhere near. It's a bit bent, but it, it will sort itself out. Diamond Art Club, they do. Just wants a little bit of a straighten. But I will show you this, this intensely beautiful piece is Freedom at the Lake by Chuck Pinson. I've had this one, I've had my eye on this one. <laughs> Um, and I just had to, I have so many nature landscape pieces in my wish list. And I just, like I said, I haven't bitten the bullet on one of the big ones. Um, again, because yes, it is a square piece, but I figure, you know, add one to my stash and then I have it to try. And then I can see if it's something I'm going to really love. I don't even know I'm going to work on this thing. It's far too big for my desk downstairs. But I'm just 
blown away. I just love this. And I just hope, 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 hope that this is going to look somewhat like this. Um, so excited. Even down to the, the pastel tone isn't so much my kind of thing. But it's not cartoony. It's not uh, manga or <laughs> chibi. It's, you know, it's just a very, you know, morning kind of colour scheme. So I hope... I hope I've made the right choice. I wouldn't want to put myself off with my first landscape if it's maybe something that I might love. So hopefully I went the right direction. But everybody always has really good things to say about his artwork. So this is a, a square shape, 93 by 70 centimetres. This may be... This might be the biggest in my stash. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether he is or I have a couple his size. I don't know if they're slightly smaller or the same. I buy the I've bought them so long since now I can't remember, but I've got a feeling this might be this might be at least one of the biggest then we'll go with that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh this has got 66 colours. Um, three of those are AB. There's no fairy dust, so three are AB. We've got this pale blue, a green, and a creamy yellow. Oh, so excited for these three! Um, I know I wasn't planning on buying anything, and uh, you know, Lily sucks. But in fairness, thank you, Lily. <laughs> Thank you for saving me nearly 30% on these three <laughs> beautiful canvases that I am so, so happy to have. Uh, while we're talking, I'm sticking my sticker onto my box. Not that it'll fit into any other, but you never know. Um, I'm so pleased with each one of these that has arrived. Um, can't say can't say I have any regret at all to be honest so of course our kit um it's pink in today's kit I've got a pink pen pink squashy I've got a black tweezer again it is in there all safe with the world all the other bits you usually get and then of course I have this um red roses wash it and this is different to me one Clear glitter seashell. I do not have that one, so super pleased with the different cover minders that I've received from them so far. I hardly ever get doubles. I mean, I don't because I don't order every five seconds. So, um, you know, of course, <laughs> I don't have that many. I make myself sound like I've got like a hundred, uh, but I've got a handful. And um, yeah. Oh. Wow, this is the problem though. I bought three pieces. No, in fairness, I don't have any feeling to start my Christmas one yet. I'm excited for the idea of doing that at Christmas. It's just the other two, which of course are both square. So, yikes. This, I'm going to work up to this, I think. This, this feels too big. I'm going to see because I want to see if... <laughs> How it, if it if, if it is like the same size as my hobby art piece? No, it's much bigger, isn't it? Oh my, it's enormous. Oh, can't decide whether to be irrationally nervous or super excited by the size of that thing i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna let that sit in my stash for a little while i've not worked on a piece that big in fact the one big piece that i did work on right at the beginning of my journey pretty much ended my diamond painting before it started a few years ago when i had a quick go so so yeah i think i might hang on to that for a little bit i'm excited though I mean, you just got to kind of section pieces, haven't you? Got to, got to find a way to make it work for me in a less overwhelming uh, version. I just love, just, just love all these stunningly beautiful canvases. The um, 
the Helcorio ones, as you know, are a big fan favourite of mine. Big, big favourite. Um, she's out because I am, spoiler, going to be working on her. I'm going to kit her up soon. I feel like it's time <laughs> that uh, we did another Helcorio. But yeah, as always, guys, if you have any questions that I can help with, please pop them in the comments below and I will do my best. If you've enjoyed the unboxing, please give me a thumbs up as it tells me which kind of videos to bother with in the future. And of course, if you are enjoying my channel and you're not already subscribed, please do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.